What's up YouTube, it's your boy Tishan24, welcome back to my channel. So a few months ago I made a video on how to connect your PS5 controller to your PC and um, at the time there wasn't a lot of added support to it, I mean only Steam had support for certain games like Fortnite but um, we didn't ha fully have a support for like M Warzone players and Modern Warfare players. So uh, that being said, I did find a workaround, we used the X360 app which is basically an emulator. It tricks your controller into thinking it's an Xbox 360 controller. And uh, that worked for the, the time being, but it definitely had, it flaw had its flaws. Um, the first one being there was no vibration. Uh, second one, the right analog stick will spin out of control when you're playing. So it wasn't really reliable at all. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously everyone expressed your concerns in, in the comments. So we had about 18,000 views on that. And, um, you know, it, it definitely did work, but it was it was a workaround, right? So there's nothing much I could do about it. But now I found a better solution. The DS4 Windows finally has added support for the PS5. Um, it was created by someone else though. Um, so someone actually reworked the DS4 Windows to have support for the ps5 so it's not an official support but that being said i don't even think ds4 windows is an official support for sony so uh you gotta kind of use it on your own risk but it definitely does work and you can also remap your your um your controls so that is very key uh, so i'll show you how all that works so let's get started So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to share a link in the description and uh, when you click the link this is the page that will pop up and what you want to do is download the largest file which is the 2.85 megabytes so this is the version 2.1.18 which has the added support for PS5 controller with the light bar and uh, vibration included which is amazing. So what you're going to do is download the zip file. As soon as you download it, this is what you'll see. You're going to go ahead and double click on it. Um, now you have two options. If you already have DS4 Windows, you just want to update it. So click the DS4, win, uh, DS4 updater. If this is your first time using DS4 Windows, simply click the DS4 Windows.exe. Download that and then also use the updater just to make sure you have the most updated version. Once all that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to open up ds4 windows now to make sure that you have the most updated version the old version had a ps4 icon it's been changed to this colorful one so if you have this icon you know you have the most updated version once you do that you got it installed you go ahead and simply connect your ps5 controller to your pc just like so and then it should detect your your ps5 uh, controller on the ds4 you're going to click start if it's on stop right now so mine's on uh, I guess I have to click start and there you go. It connected my PS5 uh, controller um, to make sure it is working. You can go to profiles, double click on it and then go to controller readings and you'll see that my left analog stick and my right analog stick is working. So everything's good there. You can also even change the dead zone just to make sure it's in the, you know, it's working properly. Um, now here's my favorite part. It's remapping your controls. Now for me, if you're playing Call of Duty, you might also run into this issue where, you know, sometimes you freak out, right? It, it's natural. And when you're shooting and sometimes you might hit R3 where you try to jab someone, um, I disable that. And the way to do that is basically, but it, also has its cons because now I can't finish someone if I had the opportunity I would have to just shoot them so you have to click new action you click the control that you want to remap so let's say r3 for uh, for this instance and then click select an action you're gonna click record a map uh, a macro and then click record a macro and then click record again and then you want to remap it to so I remap my r3 to square and there you go it's done but in game, it actually does, Square doesn't do anything. But what I've done is basically disable my R3, which was my goal. And uh, and then you can click save. But the problem with me is if I try to save this, it's gonna say that I've already, oh, okay. I guess I have two now, which is stupid, but um, I'm gonna delete that because I already have it here. Uh, but yeah, you can do some cool stuff um, with the, uh, the remapping, which is awesome. 
but that's basically it and then and then you're good to go ahead and play any game um it detects like usual in in game uh it doesn't have that issue where when you're in game and you're trying to select controller instead of keyboard um there was a, a really bad glitch in the x360 app where sometimes it would work sometimes it wouldn't um you know detect that there's a ps5 controller in game but this one is working super fine i haven't had any issues so far um if you are running into any issues for somewhat for some reason make sure to try to reinstall the game uh, sorry not the game the the app also one issue i had with uh, even the ps4 controller was the usb cable make sure you're using a proper usb cable um there's a certain version that you have to buy if not it's not going to work so make sure you're you're doing your research um uh, from but that's about it um if you have any you know questions leave a comment below if this helped make sure to like and subscribe i do play a lot of search and destroy with some of the streamers um so if you want to come check me out i'll leave my twitch channel link below in the description uh but that's it guys uh hope you have a great day bye oh, you Come on, TT. You can get the last kill. Come on, TT. That guy doesn't go X games on bro. That guy goes crazy. Yo, stick with the shot. Stick with the shot. The shot, can you hold my hand? The bomb, the bomb. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like low 2.0. Let's go, baby! Uh-oh. Watching things like getting depression sometimes. It's okay. Well, I can't see in the dark very well. I don't have my glasses on. Put your glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>